Hi everybody, I'm Larkin Omega, and you are watching my Mod Factorial playthrough. Um, I'm streaming this live to Twitch, but for YouTube, this will be episode number nine. Uh, they're going I'm exporting them in easily digestible chunks for YouTube. So let's get right back to it. Um, this is number two in the batch for today. So I'm messing around with Factorious Mount, and I've got my foundry, but I need to put in some miners over here. But I also need to get it started producing. So I need to figure this out real quick, how I'm going to do this. And I've got this, yeah, that's... Thank you, autosave. That should be good right there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all the way over to here. And then we'll just run the belts all the way in. I'm almost out of belts, so that's an issue. Uh, one thing we need to do is we need to load up these furnaces with coal. We'll just grab it and control click it. If you don't know the shortcut, um, control left click drops the whole stack of what you're holding into a fern, into whatever it's applicable that you can go into. Um, really useful little tip. So I need to get this hook back up to electricity producing again. But right now we'll just pick up the copper so we're not making too much of that. We'll plunk you down. So we really need the iron to start flowing again and we really need to get this other iron set up over here. Um, but first things first we need to get some coal coming in. So now the power room right here can be moved wherever I want to. And I think I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm going to pick it up from the coast. And we're going to put it in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in right here. Yeah, just have the coal come straight down. Put it down right there. Um, and then we'll hook it up to the power lines. That should provide power to the things that need it. But we need to get coal in, and then we'll put a splitter down right here. And that'll just feed it pretty easily. Might even switch it to the other side, which I'm going to think of it as a better idea. Anyway, um, we'll pick it up and we'll just put it on the other side. And it'll just uh, be a little bit shorter trip for my thing, for the coal to make. And then we need to power line this up again. being a provider is not getting the coal that it needs yet but that's because I haven't set it up let me pick all this up Ooh. so here's a thing that I ran into yesterday um, I can't pick that coal up it's technically outside but if I do this it pushes it in which is nifty but something to watch out for if you're messing with Factorissimo um, so we need to bring this down, and then we will bring it under, and I think to right there is good. Um, we do need to bring just the coal straight in here, so it'll just be a little juke right here, and that's okay, because this iron needs to come up and come in anyway, this way. And I actually think I'm feeding that into the wrong spots. I sure am. So that's going to be fun to fix. There we go. That's where it needs to be. And there we go. We'll just pick all that up. 
we need to troubleshoot a little bit more. I have that coming in. And nothing's got power in here right now. Because it's not hooked up to the power. Yeah. Okay. But we do need we do need to get it hooked up to the power, so power line and you are good to go. But they are already it's another um, shortcut if you control right click it um, hmm, that's something. It uh splits whatever stack is in your hand into the into the thing, so there. My electrical network needs refactoring fiercely, but we've got the iron foundry starting to work again, um, which means that we have iron starting to back up right there, which we can pick my. I believe this comes out here, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll pick up the science. And we are going to plunk the science down right up here. And because of what I've got planned, like ideally I'll have a whole bunch of ins and outs here in the near future. But for right now I'm going to use these upper two, probably. Um... I don't know, we'll have to rework it. But I do need to feed in to the upper belt. So one, two, three. This one needs to be iron. So we'll bring this down like this. And bring that over just like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's there. Uh, you are not getting power, are you? This is not anywhere near like a final layout or anything. I'm just throwing it down because I need what I'm doing right now to be useful. I should probably put in copper in this one as well, but I don't have the spacing for it right now. I could put it in through the top. It wouldn't be too hard to get out, but, um, hmm, think about that. Need more miners. I have a lot of coal for no real reason to be holding on to this. So let's start dropping it where it can be useful. Not nearly as useful as you would think right there. Um, probably create a buffer chest for coal. I can do it in here without too much difficulty. Um, yeah, without difficulty at all, I could create a buffer chest. Well, anyway, um, it's really hard for me to think today for some reason. I need a second line of iron could come in, right? Yeah, because it's pulling off the top there. I just don't have enough um, smelters here. I really don't like this setup. So we'll move it up one. More coal. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, so... Boom, 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 boom. I really don't like the mixed coal belt setup. It really bugs me on some level. Now I'm mad that I can't... Well, that's not what I wanted. Um, that I can't uh, just push forward. Anyway, here we go. So that's... Should be enough for right now. It's not keeping up, but it is producing. And we should get a backlog soon. We need the plates. Like, badly need the plates. So we need to let that, let that go for a bit. Um, and ideally, should stretch this out. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, stretch it out a bit to... And then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, well, it's going to use up the inserters I've got to make those. So, oh well, uh, we need the belts, and then this belt to here. Let's go ahead and dump some of my coal off. Still too much coal. Um, go ahead and you and you, you and you. I'm just take it to here. Belts are, in the long run, belts are cheap, but if you don't have the resources, they're not. <laughs> it's been a while since I did the early game. So, I uh, don't particularly favor having to go through all these steps, but, you know, it is what it is, and it does make it a little bit interesting. Like, even with all this um, advanced stuff that I can do, I still have to go through the basic steps every bit of the way. So let's pick this up, since we have enough stone brick for right now. Oh, you know what? Pick all this up. So not a bad setup, to be quite honest, um, for what it entailed. We need to redo the electric net anyway so and with this we can go back down there and make a couple more um, for iron Let's see I bet I just turned my miners off I sure did one away so we can do this um, put you there All right now we've got a backlog of iron which is ideal let's go ahead and put down a couple more smelters Belts to continue. All the way to there. Um, and then there and there. And honestly, I think this is overkill for what I've got coming in. 
Yeah. Okay. So now I need to do um, like a double belt of iron coming out. I need to do basically the same thing, but with copper. So I can have some copper production going. But this factory is in the way. I don't need that much copper. I might just do copper on the outside. Let's see, let's stretch this over. Nope. If we did one from here, we'll stretch to there. Flip you around. I get so many underground belts. So we can just do the copper. This is a couple over here. So we'll just grab a couple of furnaces and pick you up as well and just for the sake of that being like that just do a couple furnaces that pick up and put down the copper um, right here I mean, we can no, we still need an underground belt, one way or another. It doesn't matter which side it's on. So, okay, so gotta pull it off there. So there and there. And we'll plunk down you and you. Plunk down you and you. And we will have them export this way. We have we have a problem, yeah. No, no, we don't have a problem. I can do it this way, and then flip this around. And we'll have the export belt come down and go over. And for that, I need some iron plates. Because I'm out of belts. And I'm going to need quite a few. So we'll put this over here. And I'll probably get another one set up as soon as I can. And then we will have the... You're not needed at that point. Yeah. This will work. Let me just bring it over. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and make another miner for copper. No, not all three. Just one. That'll bring that down. We can stick this miner down right here, which will catch most of the rest. Actually, we'll just put it on top of the other one because that works pretty well. And we'll just bring it over like this. Okay, and then power pole right there and connect the two and we just gotta get the other power pole down right over here and there we go now we got copper incoming and that should back up pretty pretty good um, I might rebalance the copper to double up in fact that wouldn't be would not be a mess. Except that I don't have the room to do it right here. Maybe I can do it right over here. In fact, I do have enough room right over here because I can expand this out. So we're going to turn you north and then like this and then over and up. And there, that'll that will balance the 
uh, put two. Give us a good bit of uh, leeway. We don't need that much copper at the moment. That should be plenty. Alright. And we don't have enough coming in there. But that is okay. We can make it work. Actually, we could switch these inputs and have it... It wouldn't matter. Huh. I really hate having to figure out coal systems. Pain in the rear. For really no gain. Yeah, we're not using that much copper up here. So. I think green side's producing again. Okay, so now what we need is we need more iron ore coming in because we don't have enough. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get that changed. Let's pick this up. And let's get rid of the coal here. You know, we'll pick up that coal there. We'll run in and we'll pick up all this coal here. Yeah. Way too much coal. Okay. Um. This is not required at all. We'll pick up this. We'll pick up this. We're actually going to move the factory just a little bit. To deal with my um, slight OCD tendencies. <laughs> and this is going to come over, and we're just going to put the factory right back down. And if that's the right factory, I think that's the one that I'm looking for. Put you down. You go in. It was. No, oh, there was one little iron ore sitting on the belt that we will now plunk into that one and distribute this coal again. Can't wait till I have a uh, belt, main belt set up. Because this, having this much coal on me is kind of frustrating to be honest. Too much. Anyway, yeah, we don't need, we didn't need the second belt at all. Okay, that's working. Um, oh, I don't have an output. So, one of those should work. Copper's flowing fine. I mean, I guess we could use a couple more. Um, we'd have to figure out how to distribute the coal. Like gas, it wouldn't be too bad to do that. Bring that down there. Have a couple on the other side. Um, anyway, I am completely wow. That used up all the episode. Me just messing around with that. I am just kind of rambling today. So, what I'm going to do is we got that kind of figured out. We could use another coal boundary thing. Um, and we need to take some poles up from here. Um, you need to just tear down most of these poles and use better ones, but we don't have the kind of production we need for that. I do need to come up and grab some stone, make a couple more stone furnaces. Um, I don't want to make the steel furnaces because it just seems like a waste because I'm going to go straight to electronics as soon as I can, which is pretty darn soon. Um, all right, now I've got a chest full of, or an inventory full of crap. Um, I'm just short on iron on this peninsula. Luckily there's a pretty decent deposit right outside, but I want to get to trains and... Next time, we will start with the oil, and we'll get the oil production going now that we've got our iron and copper started again. Um, you know, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and make up a 
a couple more of these. And we are going to rework this outlay real quick. Um, make this work differently than what it does. We'll probably pick this up. And what we will do is put you there so that you can connect. There. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this get this bit figured out again because we we do need more copper uh, production. That needs to be south. So in order to do this, we need space and space, and then we need space and space. Um, this is going to get picked up. Yeah, I'm redoing the power yet again. Because I am really bad at placing this stuff in with that while trying to visualize it. Okay, so we're going to need two of you. And I probably could have just clicked for five right there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to plunk this thing down right here and we're just going to store all of that. Well, I can take some of the coal out. Um, we need a belt. Take this up. We need a belt coming down this side. One, two, three. And then this will be the belt that comes over. And you get picked up. One, two, three. Belt that comes over. And what we ideally want to do is, in order to make it work, we need an underground belt from here to there. Perfect. So now we can put down poles right here. And we'll hit both of those. And then we can put down... We can't make it work. Not with this small area that I'm dealing with because I never leave myself enough space to do it in. Um, okay. Well, you know what we can do? And this episode is going to run a little bit long because I'm doing this right now, like this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to. this up and it's going to come over and then come down through the top and we're going to set it up in the foundry um, and we, what we'll do is uh, oh that's not a valid foundry spot ha huh. that's something special We'll do one more episode today. So I'm going to call this here, and we, when we come back, we'll uh, stick some copper production in the foundry, and we'll just split off the coal right down there at the bottom. Um, in fact, we'll do that right now. Pick that up, and we will put a splitter right there. And that will be that. And I will be right back with episode number 10.